Hey guys, what's up? As we talk about in the last video, Linka's PC client has already come to you guys. It carries rich telephony features and collaboration enhancing tools like instant messaging, CRM integration, totally making your desktop as an office extension and increasing your work efficiency. In other words, you could say, I will be connected to the corporate telephone system anytime, anywhere. Now guys, you can just download the beta version of the application here. Test it on your Star Cloud PBX free trial if you haven't already. Soon later in August, you can also try it with your Yaystar S-Series PBX. Alright, this video will show you the whole configuration process from the server settings to the desktop configuration. Make sure you will master how to use Lancus with your Cloud PBX. Now, let's get started. At the very beginning, please mind that the firmware and Lancus application of PBX should be upgraded to the latest version so we can join the PC client and mobile client with new unified features. Just get to the maintenance and upgrade the firmware, and then upgrade the Lancus application. Now, start the service settings. If you don't have any accounts here, just get back to your extension setting page and there create your extensions. After that, you will have your accounts so that you can activate Linkus PC for all of those accounts. By default, Linkus server and chat feature as well as Linkus clients for internal users have been enabled. Of course, we can customize them. If we uncheck the chat feature, then all the users won't be able to send instant messages with both PC client and mobile client. The server settings, they have been generated automatically. The system will generate QR code and login link using the server settings. So, we'll be able to log in the client apps in easy ways. Then, click welcome email to send activation emails to notify these users. We can modify the subject and content of the templates as we prefer. Choose the users who need activation mails. Make sure the selected extensions have been bound with an email address and their link has been enabled. Now, emails have been sent for these users. That's all. Next time, when we create extensions for new employees, their link has will be enabled automatically by default, and we can directly send emails with login information on the extension setting page. Alright, now our job in the Cloud PBX is done we're able to register remote Linkus client to it. Next, install our PC client in a computer with Windows system. Go get here and download the Linkus PC client. After successful installation, just log in. We can log in the PC client in a very easy way. It's not necessary to enter all the information manually. Just open the activation mail. We can find the login link used for the registration. Just copy that link, get back to your PC client, and choose login via link. Paste that link. Tick auth login, so the account information will be kept. Click on the login button. The account information will be detected automatically. Read and agree to the privacy agreement to move on. Now, since it's our first time to log in with account, we're supposed to set our new password. Remember, to set a strong password for your account, at least the six characters are required, with numbers and letters of upper and lower cases included. Now, log in again with the new password, and all login information will be kept. So next time, we can just log in directly. Okay, here we are, with user-friendly graphical design. You will learn how to make and receive a call easily or send instant messages to your colleagues with the application. Let's see how we have some advanced settings. Click here. In Settings, we can customize personal account information, change the avatar using a local picture, edit username and mobile number. But the email address isn't now allowed to change. In Presence, we're also able to customize our own presence and decide how other colleagues and external contacts can contact us in different circumstances. We have in total 5 options. Available, Away, 
do not disturb, lunch break, and business trip. For each type of presence, we can add description, which will be displayed to other colleagues when they check our contact information. Just type in whatever you want. Set the destination for call for wording. We have a bunch of options. Right now, we have IP phone, link his PC client, and mobile client. So, we can decide how these three terminals deal with incoming calls to make sure we won't miss any important call. For example, when we're on the business trip, we can have our mobile ring first and if we happen to miss the call after timeout, our IP phone and PC client will ring secondly. However, in do not disturb mode, we only need to write down a description. Now, we have set the presence. Save the configuration and apply it in our own account. Click the presence of our avatar, and we can pick up any one of them accordingly. Let's move on to other settings. We can turn to the setting page directly here. In audio, we can adjust the volume of our microphone and speaker, and just test it to see if they can work well. Click on Advanced, and we can. Set the language of the app. Now we have English version and simplified Chinese version. And of course, we're going to have more supported in the near future. Set bring timeout of our personal extension to limit the maximum time duration our terminals will ring for. And we have more features available down here. Auto answer. Whenever there's an incoming call, it will get connected automatically. Call waiting. Help us to deal with another incoming call better when we've been occupied. Auto startup. If checked, whenever we start our computer, the, app the application will get started at the same time so that we won't forget to run the app and receive calls. And more settings about daily use. We minimize the display in, in the tux bar and exit program when main window closed. Then change password right here. Remember to always set a strong password for yourself. Next one, hotkeys. Enable the hotkeys for your better control of the app in your computer. We can use hotkeys to answer the call directly. Transfer, hold, or resume the call. Or just hand it up. No need to click to operate. One more important feature we are going to set is our collaboration tool, CRM integration. Click here. Now, Google Contacts and Outlook are supported. And of course, we're going to release more in the future. So first of all, set the general settings for Google Contacts and Outlook. We can decide when the contact information will be popped out when a call comes in. When the application rings, after we answer the call, or do not pop out. Check Enable Journaling. So the call history will be synchronized in the CRM system. Check Create a new contacts if no matched. So if a caller doesn't match the contact list, we can add a new contact to the CRM in a very easy way. Next one. Let's see how to integrate Linka's PC client with Google Contacts and Outlook, respectively. First, choose Google Contacts, and we need to get the authentication code. To get the authentication code, we can use the default browser, or just select the specific browser which we want. Now, for example, we're going to use the default browser. Just click Get the Code and we'll be directed to the browser and see the code generated from the Google account. Copy that code and paste it back in the PC client. Then, when they're saying coming call from our Google contacts, the related messages will be popped out automatically. If it's a new contact, we can click to add a new contact right now. All right, let's try Outlook. Choose Outlook and then start Outlook in our computer. It will instruct us to install an add-on. Agree with that. Once it's finished, go back to the PC client and click Configure Contacts Query Directory. Check the directory generated and save all the configuration. Our job is done. Afterwards, when there's an incoming call from our Outlook contact list, the related information will be popped out. And we can also click to call from Outlook directly. Mind that, if we try to call from Outlook, 
The number dialed must match the dial pattern of the PBX outbound roads. Otherwise, we will fail to call. In the belt, we can check updates and upgrade our application. Alright guys, that was all about the configuration. So why don't we just have a try now with the EA Star Cloud PBX free trial and download the beta version of the Lancus PC client. Please leave us your comment down below here and subscribe our channel if you're not already. We'll be very glad to hear your voice and I will see you guys in the next one.